Welcome back to the Scottabyte channel and this is Scott. Well, last time we discussed how to create an Incus Windows 11 virtual machine. And I realized that there's probably a few additional things that we need to review. And so I've entitled this one Incus Virtual Machine Tricks. So Incus or LexD virtual machines use a program called the Virtual Machine Manager to display the graphical interface for the console, and that's what displays your GUI interface. So this remote viewer is installed as a part of the Incus server. But realize when you install an Incus server, you also install an Incus client. So in Linux, you can run a program on a remote system and the user interface can be displayed on your local system. And unfortunately, in Windows, this is definitely not a thing. So what exactly are these tricks that we want to talk about? Well, if you run Windows and you want to manage a LexD server on your network from Windows, I already created a video on that some time back that was entitled Windows LexD Management and it was all about installing a LexD client for Windows and a LexD client for that remote viewer. And if you haven't watched that yet and you're a Windows user, I encourage you to go over there and do that. And it's not really a far leap to do the same thing for Incus. And I believe that those tools have already been released for Incus. So if you run Linux and you want to manage a remote Incus server or you want to display the console for an Incus virtual machine that's running on a remote Incus server, there are a few steps that you need to take. And in this video, we're going to learn how to remotely manage an Incus server and how to use Remote Viewer to access an Incus VM which is running on another system. So here we are on an Ubuntu desktop on my network. And this is an Ubuntu desktop that does not have Incus installed. And if I do an Incus list, you'll see that it says that that command is not found. So if I SSH over to my Incus server, which we'll say is VMS rain, and I enter my password to log into that server, then over here I can obviously do an Incus list. And I could do an Incus shell over to say VLC and we're connected over to a regular Incus container. And I can do ls commands and so on over here. So I can exit back out and here I am back at VMS Rain. <clears throat> but one of the things that you might want to do and you notice down here that I have a Windows 11 Incus VM running. So you might want to be able to do an Incus console win11 dash dash type equals VGA. And unfortunately, it says that it can't open the display and can't connect to it. So of course, we could set the display so that it would be able to do that. But we're going to look at something just a little bit different. First of all, let's log off of VMS Rain and come back to my desktop computer. We're going to go ahead and install an Incus server here, even though it's not really our intent to use an Incus server. And you'll see why here shortly. So to begin with, I'm going to do a sudo su to move myself over to the root account just so I don't have to type sudo on the series of following commands. I go ahead and make that folder for the key rings that we did when we did Incus containers step by step. And then I make a copy of the um, key that we need in order to install the Incus server. And then I go ahead and make the entry that is necessary uh, using those keys 
and using the repository and we did this in the last video also I believe after we do this we go ahead and do an apt update and then I can install Incus apt install Incus and now I'll go ahead and exit the root account and come back to my user account so the next thing I want to do is I want to add myself to the Incus admin group because I want to be able to issue Incus commands without using sudo sudo user mod dash a capital G Incus dash admin Scott which adds that to the Scott account and then I want to go ahead and make that current to this particular session this terminal session so I do a new grp incus dash admin and if I type groups you'll be able to see that I am in the incus admin group now that incus is installed of course I could do an incus list and I don't have any containers right now and so uh, it tells me that I should do an incus admin init and I would do that if I wanted to use this as a server but it's not my intent to use this as a server I just want to use the client tools. Let's open another terminal now with a control alt T and SSH over to VMS rain. And VMS rain is going to be my Incus server that I want to be able to manage. So now that I'm logged into VMS rain, I can simply do an Incus config trust add in the name of my machine is desktop back on my local desktop I'm going to do an Incus remote add VMS rain and I'm going to provide its IP address just in case it was not in my DNS and then it says do you want to accept that fingerprint yes I do and then it says what is the trust token for VMS rain I come back over to this terminal and I copy this token. Then I come back over here to this screen and do a shift control V to paste that token in. And it says that the client certificate is now trusted by VMS Rain. At this point, I can go back to my VMS Rain terminal and exit out of it and also exit out of this terminal. And now I'm just back to my desktop. If we clear the screen on the desktop, I can do an Incus list on VMS rain. And now that will work. Unlike the LexD server, we'll have to install the remote viewer separately. And we do that with the sudo apt install vert dash viewer we go ahead and say yes and it installs the remote viewer which is the tool that we use to view remote virtual machines now that vert viewer is installed of course we don't have any Incus virtual machines locally but if we do the Incus list VMS rain colon once again, at the very bottom here, you can see that there is a Win11 uh, Incus virtual machine. I can connect to this Windows 11 Incus virtual machine with the command Incus console VMS rain colon win 11 space dash dash type equals VGA and that goes ahead and brings up this window I can go ahead and go full screen with it since I was in a virtual session there I can type in my password and now I'm logged into the Windows 11 Incus virtual machine that is running on VMS rain but I did that from the desktop 
where I'm simply running the vert viewer client and I have a trust to VMS rain allowing management functions. I'm going to go ahead and shut this uh, version down here. And so it's shutting down that Incus Windows 11 virtual machine running on VMS rain, but I'm doing that from my desktop. And here I am back on my desktop. And if I do an Incus list VMS rain, you'll see that that Win 11 is stopped. Likewise, I can do an Incus start on Win actually on VMS rain colon win 11 and it will start that back up if I do an Incus list VMS rain colon you'll see that it says that it is now up and running once again we can also see which systems that we have remote ability to connect to with an Incus remote list and in this list, you can see we have VMS Rain that we're trusted for. Of course, we can talk to our local machine. And then we can also talk to the LinuxContainer.org, which has the images that we use to build Incus containers and Incus virtual machines with. You have seen where I can list things by simply doing Incus list and then the name of the Incus node followed by a colon, but I also have the ability to change the management context, and I can do that with an Incus remote switch VMS rain, and now our management context is on VMS rain. So now if I simply do an Incus list, I'm going to be listing all of the containers on VMS rain just as though I was logged into VMS Rain, but I'm actually logged into desktop. And so any other commands that we issue here, uh, list commands, connecting to consoles, connecting to shells, that sort of thing, are all performed just as though we were signed into VMS Rain. And suppose we want to change our context back to the local node. Well, we can do an Incus remote switch local and now when we do an Incus list we're no longer on VMS rain but we're on our local system which of course has no containers and we've not even initialized the Incus over here. So in summary in this tutorial we saw how to add a trust to a remote Inca server to allow for remote management. We also saw how to use the virtual machine viewer, otherwise known as the remote viewer, to display the console of an Incus virtual machine running on an Inca server on another system on your network. And remember that Linux applications can run on remote systems with a locally displayed interface. Anyway, that's it for today. Please subscribe and like to the channel and don't forget to hit that notification bell and we'll see you next time.